Would anyone in this room describe themselves as argumentative, stubborn, disagreeable, and unempathetic? Stubborn. Fuck no. Stubborn. Yes. None yes. of those things. Fuck you guys if you believe them. it. I think I'm all of them. Same. The last one? Unempathetic. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm unempathetic. I'm none of that shit. If you want to fucking, if you if you object, fuck. <laughs> He's already arguing. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Okay, so. He's like, I'm not you... fucking argumentative. Don't fucking call me that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I will never argue with you. <laughs> a new study has found that drivers of flashy, expensive vehicles are jerks. Thank oh. God I don't have a flashy, expensive vehicle. <laughs> and BMW drivers, right? Oh, uh, BMW drivers. So oh. BMW, Audi, and another one. Oh, uh, Audis aren't flashy. It's the <laughs> ultimate driving machine. What Audi the Mercedes. fuck? Audis are fucking chill. Audi, Mercedes, BMW. Not Jaguar. Only the best fucking cars. They're what did that against they're Germans, bro? But BMW drivers, though. Dicks. Hey. Fuck hey. them. I'm not in no. this. I'm not in this. No, legit fuck BMW drivers. No, yep. never. I love BMW. They're always dicks. They always do weird shit. Every time I get cut off, it's a BMW. Every you time. know who's the real fuck Get a cast? fast car. I have one. And I don't drive it fast because it's not a flashy fast car. Because he's not a jerk. <laughs> Audi gang. What about Chevys? What about, what about Everyone's them? like, <laughs> no one cares? I want to know what the stereotype is for a Chevy driver. You know who's a real fuck It's just that you're probably white trash. <laughs> yeah. Yay! No, I'm American. Yellow trash. <laughs> you know who's a real fuck kid? Prismas. Pri Prius. Oh, Prius. Prismas. <laughs> What's a Prisma? What's a Prisma? Is that a new car? What is a Prisma? Oh, that new Nissan Prisma? Merry Prismas! <laughs> I bet you there is a Prisma, and it's like an Indian I car or Pris something. Prismisins. <laughs> Pratisma. G-Wagons are dicks, too. G-Wagon, 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 G-Wagon. G-Wagons, -wagon, -wagon. they fucking, you know what I'm trying to, I'm trying to just, in, I'm in the right lane. All of a sudden, G-Wagon stops dead in their tracks, turns on their emergency lights, and they're waiting for a parking spot in the middle wow. of the street. Oh, God. They're fucking dicks, man. Jerk. Okay, so this new study, they were saying that uh, flat, drivers of flashy vehicles are less likely to stop and allow pedestrians to cross the road, <laughs> with the likelihood that they'll slow down decreasing by 3% for <laughs> every extra $1,000 that their vehicle is worth. Oh my wow. god. Maybe because they know they can get out of the way really fast because their cars are capable. No, so it turns out that it's because they seem to feel narcissistic and like better than everyone else and so they're just like my why would I stop for you like let me fucking I'm more I love all these assumptions yeah. you know what's gonna be funny about the comment section is that if they get pissed then they're gonna be reinforcing the stereotype so they can't say anything exactly yeah That's funny. Okay. Dude, I was cut off last night by an Aston Martin not even kidding right now an Aston Martin and it was tiger printed like look like shit. <laughs> tiger printed. It was Aston tiger printed, but wow. it was like yellow and black tiger printed. Wow. They ruined this beautiful car. No way. Like, oh, it was gross. Whoever you are in California with a tiger printed Aston Martin, you are fucking. Trash. Sounds like a, a <laughs> you are trash. A, a Russian man. oligarch or some shit. Oh, yeah. Or a fucking influencer that yeah. like got a brand deal yes. to wrap his shit. A thirteen year old kid who fuck who's on TikTok killing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even drive his car. Right. Yeah, so researchers, they, so the way that they came up to this conclusion is that they asked volunteers to cross a sidewalk hundreds of times, filming and analyzing the response by car drivers. So researchers used one white, one black, and uh, one white and one black man, one white and one black woman, and so they- What about the yellow varieties? Mm -hmm. If they had an Asian, people would try to run us over. Yeah. That's the opposite. It's like, slow down, it's a black guy! Oh, slow down! It's a white guy, but maybe speed up. I don't know. Oh, it's an Asian, just run him over. That's the difference. What? Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the, the, people are driving to us. Asian people are driving toward Asian people to drop to fucking. This, this is an epidemic. Wow. Well, you guys are gonna kill each other? Yeah. Uh, Why do you think the traffic works like this in Vietnam? Everyone's trying to run each other over. That's true. I, I knew that. What? No, what he said. No, but what do you so, I was gonna say, though, I, I didn't hear the black and white uh, people were the pedestrians or the drivers? Pedestrians. Oh, okay. So that, <laughs> these are the people that are trying to cross. And so they would, they found that cars were more likely to yield for the white and female participants. Vehicles stopped 31% of the time for both women and white participants compared to 24% of men. Wait, 24% of the time for men and 25% of the time for black uh, volunteers. So that's what they found. And so because of that- How come I didn't register any of those numbers? It's fine. So the point is The that point is hot people, you can, uh, you're more likely to let them merge in and shit, right? Well, cause I'm so hot. captivated. No, these it's are people crossing the street. Men. So pedestrians. And, and we care about them more, right? 
care about the women more than the men. Yeah. Yeah. But then 24% or 25%? Well, women and white men. <laughs> So, anyway. Not me, I try to run everybody over unless they're hot. Equally. Equally. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't talk about hot. Because when I see a mini skirt, I'm like, skirt! Yeah. In the middle of the road. Oh, shit, I should be driving right now. <laughs> wow. I wish it was Taiwanese rules here, because in Taiwan, it's the bigger the vehicle, they have the right of way. Is it really? Yeah, so if you are if you if you get hit by a truck, it's your fault for being in the way. So the big rig is like, good luck everybody <laughs> else. <laughs> I can do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, they have regular, like, I guess, Humanity was not trying to run people over, but if you're a smaller car get the fuck out of the way It makes more sense because we're the opposite the pedestrian has the right away It could be like a pile up of cars like 50 cars, yeah. but if a pedestrian wants to stand there Dude, I saw I saw a Twitter video of a bunch of people like blocking a road to protest some shit Yeah, and a trucker just fucking drives all the way through them. Oh god no. shit. And, I mean they moved around it barely just in time, but the trucker didn't give a fuck Sheesh. Damn, I like that. Yeah, it was funny because nobody got hurt Oh, okay, yeah, then it's funny. Okay. I'm laughing. <laughs> I liked it. I'm glad there wasn't one hero like, no, I'm not gonna stand for this, and then they stand and got run over. They know Nobody the will stand for anything while a truck is fucking coming at them for yeah, very long. Yeah, you, you, you gotta be stupid to do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the trucker was counting on, and he was right. Right. So, more facts. And there was this other survey of 1,892 drivers by the University of Hel Helsinki. Helsinki? Helsinki. 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 Okay. <laughs> so they those they deem to have more dis those that deemed to have more disagreeable character traits were more drawn to high status cars. Like a big mole? Uh <laughs> Character like, traits? Yeah, like a character traits. Oh. Guy's a big mole. Why did I picture a giant animal when you said that? <laughs> I, I did too. Mole. I was like, where did Bart's brain go right now? <laughs> but it was my brain. I pictured a mole about as big as a bookcase. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> you guys have crazy awesome. brains. Like, huh? Where did his brain go? You guys have Why weird brains. It? Why would a giant animal be a part of this? But I was open to it. <laughs> I was open to it. Yeah. So they said that uh, the ones that were more likely to run a red light, not give way to pedestrians, and generally drive recklessly and too fast were often the ones driving fast German cars, is what this hell seems to AKA BMW. They hate German people. <laughs> well, the, the stereotype, right, is that a guy with a flashy car has a car because he's insecure about himself, so he's trying to like That's show off. That's a big off truck. And prove, well, bo both, you know what I'm saying? So the guy's fucked no both. matter what. It is both. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Flashy, small car, or yeah. big ass truck. Because he's trying to show off that either like he has money or he's like, you he know. He needs the most love. From, yeah, because he's never he's received like, it. I got a yeah. big truck yeah. because he I He needs come. the most validation. He's like, I got a big truck because I come really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> right? But yeah, no, earlier today I was watching this one video. Who was it? You sent it to me. I don't know. Uh, Alain de Bottom or something. What, what, who is he like? What does he do? Philosopher? I don't know. The point is, he was saying that um, people that end up, like what you're saying, like guys who have really expensive, flashy cars is that most likely, and people that are also drawn to like high-end brands, and like expensive things that they they need to shower themselves with is because they need validation that they didn't have when they were growing up so they seek it through money or like through getting it from the world like everyone else looking at them and saying oh they have money like they they're seeking that type of validation so in reality these people they just really really need validation and that's not the reason why i like kirkland I'm not trying to give out this for me, but I just I'm a big fan of Kirkland. I know it's a high-end oh, brand, <laughs> but I love Kirkland. Yeah, but what about cars though? What's the Kirkland of cars? Is that Chevy? <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. I think I like the rock characteristic of Chevy. Oh, with the eyebrow? Yeah, I've heard of that. No, they said it's like a rock. Like a rock? Like a rock. Oh, oh like du rock. Dwayne Johnson is what I was thinking of. Where said. the fuck is know. your brain? <laughs> I thought the rock. <laughs> I've heard of that too, um, but I don't think it's a it's a general truth. It's it depends on the individual if they're if they're seeking validation outwardly, mm -hmm. or if someone's uh, content with their life and then they just like things. It could get confusing because you can judge a person based off of the things that they own or have, mm -hmm. right? So, for example, um, the study was done mainly on um, people from poverty stricken nations and they tend to like extra shit like if you've seen like the new money like people right they like LV print fucking everything their homes look like a fucking cathedral like it's super gaudy shit and we call that tacky or whatever but they're just overcompensating for all the things that they didn't have and when they grew up their neighborhood was like full of bullet holes and garbage and everything so then they want the opposite 
everything being top notch. Yeah, I mean, I think we all do that when we grow up kind of broke, you know, like uh, when I, even when I was leasing the Maserati for a few years, like I remember like, yeah, but I got a, a good deal. People didn't know it was like as cheap as it was. But. So you got to have nice shit, but then feel great about it because you got a deal? Like, it was, yeah, exactly. Like, and it was definitely, you know, it felt good to like get compliments about the car and get looks and shit. But after a few years of it, I was like, I think I've stunned it enough. You know what I'm saying? I think I, I don't need to I don't need to pull up in the Maserati anymore. Like I'm I don't need all this attention from all these chicks who will want to see me from my Maserati. You get more attention from boys when you have a sports car <laughs> than anything. I girls don't even give a fuck, dude. <laughs> They're like, that's cool. <laughs> I have a homie that drives a pretty uh, flashy car, but he totally does it to show off. Cause um, we, I was in his car that night, and um, and people were people were staring, right? And he's like, at first he's kind of like, oh, why these guys staring? And I was, and he was like, oh, the car, of course. And then I was like, and he thought maybe it's cause they recognize him, cause he he does stuff too. And I was like, wait, your windows are tinted, right? And he's like, actually they're not. I was like, what the, okay, then obviously you're trying to get recognized if you got yeah. this super expensive car and your windows are fucking not tinted at all. It's and like rich people plate. with ha them having their their blinds wide open at night, <laughs> and I'm like, why? Why do we That's have like to see you? Brad Pitt having a license plate that says Brad Pitt. <laughs> like, I can't fucking believe everyone's fucking Oh my god, it's so annoying. Uh, yeah, I had a buddy, he was like my best friend, and he bought a PT Cruiser and I never talked to him again. A <laughs> PT Cruiser? Wait. Those are fucking... Man, I remember when those were popular for like... Yeah. A, uh, are they still around? I hope not. They look like the Munster cars. They look like a like Transylvania yeah. car. I get so mad just seeing a PT Cruiser. Especially if I'm behind one, I got so fucking pissed. Isn't that the midlife crisis car? <laughs> no. no. What? No, it looks like a You're giant of a prowler. It's like a mall No, car. I've seen the PT Cruiser, the convertible one. I thought all these what? old guys no, bought I, it. I Wait, they did a convertible PT Cruiser? No, How fucking dare the they? PT oh, Cruiser dare. looks like a grandma's Is car. Chrysler? Plymouth. Wait, is it Plymouth? No, Chrysler. Chrysler? Chrysler's a PT Cruiser. Yeah, it looks like Yeah. A, it's a like Prisma. A <laughs> it's a Prisma, guys. This one. I could have sworn they it was actually made a convertible one. Yeah. That would be the ugliest thing yeah. ever. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. they're fucking okay. whack. Okay, never mind. I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about Wait, the Chrysler. I'm uh, thinking about the P uh, Plymouth Prowler. Yeah. You're you're thinking optimistically, <laughs> and I'm over here on the PT Cruiser level. <laughs> that looks like a cool car. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> you're gonna stop Seriously, being Joe's friend. Don't say that. Seriously. Don't say that. Stop. <laughs>